how we have um, great role models like Rakhiso Rabada, um, who is a fast bowler. For, he's a premier fast bowler for South Africa, but we've also had other black African fast bowlers before KG, like Makai Ntini, uh, Ingham, Zondeki, et cetera, et cetera. And we find that why aren't they in as sufficient amount of black African batters? And so there was different research questions being thrown out as to what would be the reasons. And one of the reasons, again, could be is that there would be a lack of equipment or resources they didn't have to train to be a better, but instead they would rather train to be a bowler because you put on your shoes and bowl, or some of them won't even have shoes. They'll just run barefoot and, and you know, bowl the ball. Um, the other aspect is because from a genetic perspective, in terms of speed, in terms of running, and in terms of power, bowling is a lot more correlated to that kind of skill compared to anticipation and anticipatory skills of an oncoming ball or um, anticipating the trajectory of a different delivery. So that, that was another question in the mix. And then another interesting correlation, which uh, hasn't really been proven, but um, in, in the African culture, a mother's child rear their kids on their back. So, um, you know, a lot of the time you'll find that babies are being carried in front or in their pouches in modern times. Or, But in many decades ago, until now, still even in the township communities, the mothers would wrap a towel around the, uh, from the front or two around their backs and the, their babies will lie in almost like a pouch at the back of them while they're actually doing domestic work or while whatever they're doing. And they would just, you know, stay on their mom's backs uh, wrapped around this towel or wrapped around a sheet. And one of the theories that came from this is that because they, uh, they're behind their mom's backs, they can only look left and they can look right. And it, it delays their vision from looking forward. And so the, their development in terms of vision going forward actually prevents them from anticipation skills or spatial awareness as they grow up when they're a child. So that was a possible That's hypothesis or theory, <laughs> but, but it hasn't really been proven. 